hours ago, lawyers for Oregon State troopers and firefighters served Governor Kate Brown with a lawsuit. And this comes after she announced a vaccine mandate last month for all state employees. Fox 12's Drew Marine spoke with that lawyer in that case and says local fire districts are pushing back. Drew? That's right. Vernonia residents tell me the fire chief was suspended after speaking out about the vaccine mandate, and he isn't the only first responder to do so. Friday night, strong feelings coming out of Vernonia. They voted to suspend him for two weeks for basically calming everybody down. People who live there say Fire Chief Dean Smith was suspended after speaking out about the COVID-19 vaccine mandate for first responders at a fire district meeting. The agenda for the board's meeting on Monday said they'd consider the dismissal or discipline of an employee, but did not name anyone. We're here to support Chief Smith because as long as he is not in that station, Vernonia and the surrounding area is not under the protection of who's been running this place since he built a freaking fire truck from scratch out of parts so he could help these people. In early August, Governor Brown announced those in healthcare settings needed to be vaccinated or undergo weekly testing, but that testing option has since been removed. This requirement would apply to firefighters at the Vernonia Fire Protection District, something some locals don't support. Mandates are stupid. This rally comes as Portland-based lawyer Dan Tunnell served Governor Brown a lawsuit on behalf of the Oregon Fraternal Order of Police and several state firefighters. August 13th, Brown enacted a vaccine mandate for state employees, including troopers and some firefighters, something they say violates the Oregon and U.S. constitutions. This isn't an issue about the vaccine. It's an issue about being told if you don't get it, you're going to lose your profession. The lawsuit says the order violates an Oregon law, which says employers can't require certain workers to be vaccinated. However, that law says it doesn't apply if there's a federal or state requirement. These are not callous public servants who don't want to be told what to do and don't want to follow rules. They take an oath to uphold the law. They take an oath to uphold the Constitution of Oregon and the United States. And they think this order is a violation of those sources of law. They're standing up for what they believe in, very um, cognizant of the serious public health issue that COVID creates and empathy for those who have been impacted by it. Tanel also represents a Bend-based trooper, Zach Coing, who was recently put on leave for posting an over two-minute Instagram video saying he'll defy the vaccine mandate. I have personal and religious reasons as to why I will not take the vaccine, but also the freedom to choose not to. Tanel says Cowing knew he could be reprimanded, but felt it was an important enough issue to risk his job. Tanel saying OSP followed protocol when placing him on leave. We reached out to the governor's office about the lawsuit, but they say they can't comment on pending litigation. We also reached out to the Vernonia Fire Board about Smith's suspension, but we haven't heard back yet. Live in Southeast Portland, Drew Marine, Fox 12 Oregon.